Hello there, Internet. I've gotten some good news recently because my favorite American brewery, well, one of them anyway, is finally available in Europe and it's Grimm. They are a small brewery from out of New York, which is usually very hard to get a hold of even if you're in the New York area. Bit like an alchemist situation, I guess, but they make very good beers. I guess they've been ramping up their production recently because now they can even afford to export. This one is called Passion Fruit Pop, and it's a Berliner Weiss style ale with passion fruit, vanilla, and milk sugar. The scary word here is that it's a dessert Berliner Weiss style ale, so I'm worried that this is going to be frighteningly sweet. Their uh, sours are otherwise excellent, but anyone who knows Americans knows that they take sweetness to the next level and think it's fine. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping the sweetness will be restrained and it will still be mostly sour and very good. This one is clocks in at 4.8 ABV, which suits a Berliner Weisse, and it's a big, big bottle at 1.6 ounces. One, one, point. one pint, of course, and six ounces. Ooh, there's a bit of water left in my glass now. That won't do. All right, let's see what we got. Hazy. Kind of lemonade yellow. Gentle carbonation. Not much at all. See, this is what I like about Grimm, because they are masters at balancing their beers and all the flavors and you can feel already on the scent that this should be a balanced experience but let's make sure that i'm not here talking out of my ass <clears throat> yeah no there was no need to worry this is not too sweet at all Dessert style, I don't know why they called it that, if they allude to dessert stout, because if they mean that this would match a dessert, well, I don't think so. Because everyone who's a bit into wine knows that if you match a drink with a dessert, the drink needs to be sweeter than the dessert is, otherwise it will taste horrible. Uh, so, and this is not very sweet at all. It's not very sweet at all. But lactose is uh, somewhat gentle sweetener, as we all know. Here you got the passion fruit more than anything. And I've always thought that's a fruit that goes very well with uh, sours, even better than raspberries. Always been a big fan of the passion fruit. The vanilla, very little if it's there, not much vanilla at all. I've noticed this is usually the case when uh, brewers put vanilla in anything that <clears throat> you can, you can't really taste it most of the time. And I get that because vanilla is expensive, so sure, but why even write it out? And if you already got passion fruit and lactose in it, why do you need some vanilla as well? I don't know. But yeah, let's sum it up. More than anything, this is your average, not your average, this is a good refreshing passion fruit sour there is a bit of added uh, sweetness from lactose in here 
and for them trying to make it a dessert style. But they've been very cautious and uh, refined in their use of sweetness. So it's not like drinking a candy drink or drinking a fizzy soda pop or anything like that. If anything, if anything, it's got the sweetness of a good homemade lemonade. If anything, not even not even there, but that's more what I think about. Like if an adult who's not still a secretly a child on the inside, we must make sure. But if a regular adult made himself a lemonade, this is where it should be. This is where I'd put the sweetness. So just a touch extra sweetness, nothing to be afraid of or disgusted by. It's fine. The vanilla can't find that at all. Of course, lacto, since it's Berliner Weisses style, lacto is bringing the sour here. It's like they tried to hide the lacto a bit, or maybe it got swept away a bit by the lactose, but you can't. That nice lacto acid, it comes and goes, but you can't feel it as strongly as some. But yeah, very good, very, very good. Passion fruit pop, let it refresh you this summer if you can find it. If that's what you need, you're gonna like it. If you're not sure if you will like it or not, maybe you don't drink many sours. I can say if you like lemonade, you're very probably gonna love this too. So for all the lemonade people or the sour lovers out there, here's a good one. And you're goodbye.